Guys, today we are doing a new primer ball on an Echo CS306 chainsaw. First thing we're going to do is pop this flathead screw and take the air filter cover off. And you really don't have to do any maintenance on this. This is how we make our money. So don't ever clean your air filter. Look, it's got a brick for an air filter. I'll show you how to clean that in a minute. <laughs> um, all right, so now we got to get this uh, primer ball out. So I'm going to reach up in here and pull this fuel line off the primer ball. Turn the torch on here. All right, I just pulled it out and got it out of the way there. And then we're going to reach in there. This is the, the suction line. This will be the, uh, uh, this line will go to the short, the short uh, uh, nipple on the uh, primer ball. Just kind of see it in there right there. Now we're going to pull that back fuel line off and get it out of the way. That one, The back fuel line is the return line. It's the long nipple. Look in there. See if we can get it to focus. There we go. Alright, so the long nipple goes back the long nipple back in the back goes to this black line on the bottom here. Goes to this guy. Now there's uh, these little barbs here. If you just reach in there with a flat screwdriver and just pry it out. It's hard for me to get in there with the, looking at the camera. But you get in there and you pry it out. And this will, whoop, and it just shot right out the top and went across the room. But that'll pop that right on out. So now, Primer ball is out of there. Let me get the new primer ball. Okay, so you've got short nipple and long nipple. Short nipple goes towards the front. So we're gonna go ahead, short nipple towards the front. We're gonna put this right back in here. Oh, make sure this is pushed in all the way. Short nipple towards the front. Just push it down until it clicks. And then that's done there. Now we're gonna go ahead and get back up in here. We're gonna grab this black line here with needle nose and get this yellow one out of the way. Then we're gonna stick this black line back on the long nipple. I just I just completely removed this line just so you could see back in there. Back to this long nipple in the back, we want this line here to go onto that. I actually found that making the choke arm, pulling it out, gave me a little bit more space to get that in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and drop the old line. If you got to replace this, it's no big deal. You just go ahead and put a new line on it. We're going to go ahead and stab it back onto the carburetor. I found that most of the time that these are still very good. And they work better than if you, than a new one. I, I don't know, something about the new material is just cheaper Chinese stuff. But we're going to get that on the small nipple in there. I need both hands to do this. But you see it up in there next to the line, got to get on it. Then once we got it all in there, prime it up. There we go. You know it's working. All right, and as promised, I'm gonna show you how to clean this brick here. Easy. Can a carburetor cleaner? Start spraying it off. And you keep spraying it off till it's all the way clean. Back side too, get the good back good and clean too, get it all nice and clean. If you don't have an air hose, let it sit in the sun for 10-15 minutes and it'll dry out. But I have an air hose. That nice and clean. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. It it ran up to that point to where it was a brick, so anything is better than nothing. Just clean it up. And don't be shy. You can blow everything else off. You can use your carb cleaner if you want to rinse it all off. But I got the air. I'm not wasting the carb cleaner. And blow the cover out real good too. Nice, clean, shiny new air filter back in. You should do this every time you're done cutting wood. You just do it. It's called preventative maintenance, not, oh my god, it doesn't run now maintenance. Then on, tighten it down.
Easy peasy. All right, guys. This helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'll put the primer ball, uh, I'll put the carburetor, fuel lines, everything you could ever possibly need to do the fuel system on this. Filters, air filter, everything will be in the description below. Um, today's t-shirt will also be in the description below. Uh, if you want me to do some advertising for your company, mail me in one. I'll be more than happy to. Peace.